All right, what's going on everybody? Eric Barassa here, and today I wanna to talk about one of my favorite things about the guitar, and that is the whammy, whammy, whammy bar. Oh my goodness, oh, I love the whammy bar so much. Especially this stainless steel one on my Parker Fly. What's so much fun about the whammy bar is it's just another layer of expressivity that you can have in your playing that you don't have without it. Sure, you can bend, you can slide, but there's nothing quite like the sound of the whammy bar. So today I wanna give you five cool ways to use the whammy bar in your playing. All right, so first off, let's start with the classic dive bar. All right, all you're gonna do is hit, let's say a low E, and then slowly depress the bar until you can't depress it no more. And you can, uh, on some guitars, you can get the strings to just hang off the board, especially on double locking guitars. But I would say this, uh, double locking tuners are sometimes a little overrated. I find that like on my Parker Fly and even on my Strats, I can go pretty wild with those and uh, and the tuning stability is, is pretty awesome and it's a less of a pain to deal with than the double locking tuners. So uh, the double locking tuners are cool because you, you can go even wilder, uh, but it's to me it's not always worth the pain of dealing with those double locking tuners. So a variation of this is if you can go up with your whammy bar, we're gonna do a dive bomb where we, we quickly go up and then come back down like this. So that's really cool. That's uh, something Satriani does a lot. So you're just gonna yank up on the bar real fast, just like a, and then push down. That's a really neat sound right there. The reverse dive bomb, we just start from the bottom and come up. A great variation of this is to do it with a, uh, a harmonic. Like on the third fret, those are some pretty wild harmonics. Or you can do like what Joe Satriani does and you can pick over here, do a pinch harmonic on an open string. And then use the left hand. And pull up that way, okay? So that's, that's pretty fun. Okay, number three is the gurgle. Check this out. All right, so that's a Satriani signature as well. All you're doing is slowly sliding up on one string and slowly pushing down the bar at the same time. <laughs> so you're getting the, the, the pitch like fighting to go up and down at the same time. Pretty, pretty cool sound. You guys may have seen in one of my previous videos the Whammy Bar Flutter Trick. Right, so you're just gonna hit a note and then flick the edge of the whammy bar. This is not going to work on a guitar with a bridge in like a fixed position. It needs to be floating. You need to have a floating bridge in order to do that. You can do that like on a strat. You can um, loosen the springs in the back a little to get it to float up a little bit. Oh, hey, I almost forgot about the reverse flutter. You can also flip your whammy bar the opposite way if you have floating tram and go. It's not super easy because you got a long way to go, but but you can do it. I love the dip, okay? Pretty easy, you hit the note, and then just quickly hit the bar down and then let it come back up. And so I like to do this like especially in like a pentatonic scale, just hit random notes when I'm improvising. The other thing you can do is the reverse dip. Yeah, 
if you're gonna do the reverse dip, you probably will want to do all hammer-ons with your fretting hand because it's a long way to go back and forth from the whammy bar to picking. And finally, you can do just a subtle vibrato. Instead of doing vibrato with your fingers, you can do it with the bar. Now, the whammy bar, at least on this guitar, on my Parker Fly, is very sensitive. So you may want to be real gentle with your attack. Think about how your vibrato sounds. Well, now, the whammy bar is gonna go down um, in pitch rather than up. When you bend the, when you do vibrato with your finger, the pitch always goes up, whether you pull down or push up. Okay. So with the whammy bar, it's going to go down in pitch. And you just get a slightly different sound that way. All right, cool. So that's basically everything I know about the whammy bar. Uh, let me know what your favorite whammy bar trick is and if there's anything that I've missed. If you dug this video, be sure and like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you in the next times.